welcome back. Why well, I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. I really, really do. I hope you spent it with family and friends and you got all the things that you wanted to get. And had a really good time. Um, mine was full on, guys. I really, really did intend on doing a video prior to Christmas, but Christmas week just went crazy. Um, the Monday night, a few of us went up to London uh, to go to see the Tiger Lilies live at the Coliseum. Um, wonderful night. Um, got them to sign me ticket stub. Met them again, obviously, and bought freak show double cd while i was there so that was the start of the week and obviously i was working as well come friday it was the work do, and we all went out uh dan rayleigh for a good old drink up and i realized i don't actually handle drinking shots that well uh but it was a fun really fun evening but boy did i pay for it the next day because me and wife had already pre-bought our tickets to Northern Soul. We went to a Northern Soul night over in Stanford. Um, brilliant night, lovely people at Northern Soul. But I literally couldn't get up and do too much. I was still hanging from the night before. And then with shopping, before you know it, Christmas is upon us. So I do apologise for not putting out a video. But I do hope you all had a lovely time. And obviously I was thinking about you. So, I've got some new records for Christmas. And I thought, well, why not give you a little show of what I picked up? Quite eclectic, quite a different one. So, kicks off with the debut album from Oasis. Definitely, maybe. Now, this is on coloured vinyl. And this is, I think, the Half Speed. It's a double album. Um, so, it's the Half Speed Masters. So, my first Oasis album. Pretty pleased to have it, actually. Um, it's got some great songs on it, obviously. Shake and Make, Go Rock and Roll, Star, Live Forever. Brilliant, Cigarettes and Alcohol. But fantastic album. Um, so I suppose I will have to get Morning Glory next. Right, another album I got. The Jam, The Gift. I think this is their final album, actually, 1982. This is the one with Town Called Malice on it. And... Um, just Who Is The Five O'Clock Hero brilliant first jam album too so hopefully I'll get some more but pleased about that another two tone one to the collection now as you know I've got more specials well this is the specials debut album um, just called the specials and this has got them all Mrs. Chew, Rudy, Gangsters um, what else we got on here oh obviously Too Much Too Young Brilliant. Nightclub. Fantastic album. So really, really pleased to have that on record. As you know, I've sort of like, not recently discovered the Kinks, but started to look into their albums. So I was really, really pleased to get the next one. Arthur. Now, I've played this a few times at work. As you know, I've done a vinyl first play of Village Green a little while ago, and I'm absolutely hooked on Village Green. I love it. So I thought, well, you know, I put out, said, what do you think I should listen to? And it was between village, um, this, Arthur, something else, which was the one I thought I was going to get next. But I was told, don't buy any records prior to Christmas because we're getting you some. And they did. Um, and face to face. So, but I love this. I actually love it. Um, obviously, we all know Victoria. But yeah, we know that one. But yes, sir, no, sir. Some other son. Shangri-La, just terrific. So pleased to have that one. And this one is on red vinyl, face to face. This is the 1966 the year I was born, um, Sunny Afternoon, which I've always loved that song. Fantastic song. So, but I don't know a lot of this album, so really looking forward to having a play on that. And that's the point, guys. I know normally I leave them sealed until I do a vinyl first play. But chances are with some of these albums, it will be a vinyl play. Apologies, but it does one that in. They're just sat on there sealed. And I, I want to play them, but I also want to do a video. Don't get the time to do a video, but I could play them. You get my conundrum. Right, this was another one I was really pleased about. Hunky Dory by David Bowie. Great album. I mean, just from the changes... 
Life on Mars. I mean, Life on Mars is probably one. I would say that might even be my favourite Bowie song. There is a few that I absolutely love, but Life on Mars is right up there. It's a beautiful, beautiful song. So, really pleased about getting Hunky Dory. And 1967's The Who Sell Out. So, again, another one of the Who collection. And I've still got a sealed Tommy over there. It is hard. <laughs> it is hard. And I've got also Who's Next on vinyl. So really, really pleased about that one. Won't get fooled again. Nice. Nice. So really, really pleased. So as you can see, I've got quite a lot of records already. Right, but I'm down to the final three. And they're all by the same artist. Tom Waits, The Early Years, Volumes 1. Pleased to have that on record. I've got these on CD, but... Early Years, Volume 2. Nice. Well, early versions are like old 55. I hope that I don't fall in love with you. You know, you get the drift. Some nice ones on there. And the soundtrack to Francis Ford Coppola's One from the Heart with Crystal Gale. This is beautiful. Broken bicycles, old boyfriends. Is there any way out of this dream? This it's full of beautiful, beautiful songs. So there's only three Tom Waits albums. Well, I think there's a couple of compilations, but three main ones that I've yet to get. And that would be Black Rider on vinyl. Quite expensive, though. Um, Bone Machine. I did buy a bootleg, but to be honest with you, it was pants, and I want, I want the original vinyl. And the soundtrack to Jim Jarmusch's film, Not on Earth. So, they're the ones that evade me at the moment, but they will be mine. Right, and I've got a couple of books I thought I'd just show you. Um, really, really pleased about these. And the first one is Before We Was We. Um, this is written by Madness um, about their story. I think there's an audio book of this. And I did hear that the House of Fun Weekender 2020 is going to be their last one. So me and wife are going, we've got tickets. Yes. Um, I know it's a way off yet, next November, but two nights of madness. It's going to be just wonderful. So really, really stoked about that. And the book. So really pleased. This was a nice one as well. Album by album, The Beatles. And this is really nice. Some gorgeous photographs in here. I don't know if you can see properly, look. But there's some absolutely gorgeous photos now. I've only had a little flick over, but what's really nice, you got the, what the Beatles thought of each individual album, you know, like little segments, and then obviously what all the critics thought, and a nice little write-up about each and every one. Really lovely. Album by album, the Beatles. And finally, the last book, and it's still sealed. I'm over the moon about this. Matt Mahurin's Tom Waits, look at that. That is crazy, isn't it? It's like all surreal pictures where they work together. This one was from Wifey. She knows what I like, but really, look. I've stuck back and I keep it sealed, look. That's the discipline. But we have been full on. We have been full on. So, yeah, they're yeah, my musical bits. Um, as you know, just prior to Christmas, I've got um, a new amplifier and speakers. And I've got to say... The difference in quality is astronomical. It really, really is good. Um, the Riga Planner. I've not, I need to do a, a video on this Riga Planner because when I first got it, it sounded wonderful. Such a vast improvement. It gave me goosebumps. It was wonderful. But I think as I'm getting on with it, the more I've used it, it just sounds better. I'm not even joking. I don't know how many hours I've played it now, but quite a lot. It just sounds better and better and better. It's very expressive. It's got lovely rhythmic detail. It's just banging. I absolutely am over the moon with it. And the Sony amp as well that I've got just sounds amazing. I've not gone above 50 yet. I think it goes to 100. I don't even know. But that is more than enough for this front room. Um, it fills the room. It's not, it's not going to shake the walls. I don't want that. But the sound is really, really nice. Plenty of power. Loads of punch. Um, like I said, it's 100 watts per channel. Uh, but I've not got nowhere near that. 
And obviously the Malden shorts that I bought. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Such a difference. Such a different sound. It breathes new life in all my music. All the albums just sound much, much better. Really nice and clear. Um, they're unfussy about anything you throw at it. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So, there you go. That's me ramble for today. Um, a couple of days, it's going to be New Year. 2020, new decade. Wow. Have you got any New Year's resolutions? I've got a few, but I'm going to keep them to myself to shit because I'm crap at them. I'll tell you, I really am. Um, but I'd like to take this opportunity to just say, have a fantastic New Year, guys. Much love to all of you. You are the best. Um, all the happiness, love, wealth, whatever, positive stuff. I wish you all a really good New Year. Take care of yourselves. I'll be back with another ramble next year. Bye now.